Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Before we even start this one out, we're going to start with a crinkle alert. So, be forewarned. Crinkles ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, I made a video. Oh, showed you. Oh no, perhaps a sneak peek right there. Um, I made a video with my Hobie Goodies, um, I don't know, that yarn's so pretty and that bag is so cool and the buttons and the candy and the whole thing, I just thought it should be like its own thing. I thought at one point I'm not meshing these together, but that's just cool. And so anyway, I've never, never had yarn from Hobie before, so I was like, okay, I'll do that one and then I'll do these. So, but never have I ever had either of these things either. So. Two days of never have I ever. It's like 10 minutes for me. It's like two days for you. Just say Okay, but anyway. <laughs> so, all right, in the last one, <laughs> I mentioned that Jen, beautiful Jen Cinnamon Stitches, uh, is the reason that I had the Hobie yarn. She's also <laughs> the reason that I have this next thing that I'm going to share with you. One of the things. And then there are other things, and there's a whole fun little story that goes along with it. It's good. Okay. So, um, she has been showing hooks lately that are very, very cool. And personally, I love plastic hooks, and I like a resin hook. I'm not a fan of metal hooks. So, <clears throat> I use them. I actually use them, using one right now, um, it's a furls hook. Um, but I'm using one for the corner to corner that I'm working on. It is a gnome corner to corner. I went for it, y'all, in case you haven't. Anyway, yeah, that, like the repeat crafter me thing. I'm doing a gnome corner to corner. I'm loving it. I'm over halfway finished. I cannot believe it's going as well as it is. I figured it was going to be like this far and I was going to mess it all up and be done. But so far I've only had to rip out a row and a half. So, all right. <laughs> so anyway, so nothing to do with anything just saying that's the one thing currently that I'm working or using a metal hook other than that I love plastic ones and I love resin ones so Jen has been showing the Ami crochet hooks Ami or Omi yes so these so is crochet hooks um and she saw her words <clears throat> she mentioned them a while back and they sold out like crazy, um, which is hilarious. And anywho, <laughs> um, but yeah, so she's pretty hip. I think she knows this. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Read the outside of the box. I've already looked in here because it's cool. So anyway, um, this is comfortable, durable, affordable. It's always important. Free 90 day returns and exchanges. Like you can't beat that. Uh, it says if you have any issues, please write back to us. That's nice. Okay, so ergonomic crochet hooks. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> the reveal. Dun dun. Once again, matches my shirt. It's like yesterday. Look. It's like my mom knows my favorite colors like that. All right. So, oh, I'm so excited to use this, but I needed to share it with you all first. But it is so light and so lovely. I'm telling you, I can already tell you that I'm going to like it just because it goes past right here. I don't like a hook that stops anywhere right here because it rubs on my hand and then it makes it hurt a whole lot. And so I like the long, I know a lot of people don't like longer hooks. Personally, I love a longer hook as long as it like doesn't get stuck in my shirt and then I can just do that. <laughs> So I guess it's not hurting my hand. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one, but okay. So it is the 6.5 millimeter or K and it just says that it's blue on there. Okay, so that's it. Right. Ami ergonomic hand something. I don't know. I didn't order. I'm not sure what it is to be honest, but it's the blue 6.5 millimeter. <clears throat> So let's, okay, so that's it. Let's take this off, shall we? 
check it out, shall we? You guys can see the whole thing in all of its glory, you know what I mean? Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at Linda. Oh, it's upside down. Let's at least do this. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look, it looks like waves right there. Like the ocean and waves. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use this. So yeah, that's gonna be lovely because that's not right here on my hand. That's another reason I really don't like the metal ones. And <clears throat> Miss B took all of my metal hooks and she's going to make um, clay covers, clay, I can't think of words. Um, Yes, anyway, she's going to make the clay thingies on them so that that way they're a little bit longer. And then I was showing this to Squirrely Dam, who I've mentioned before makes things out of resin. And he was like, I can go to dad's shop and make a mold and I can make you your hooks. And I was just like, you have no idea how much I would treasure that if you made me hooks. So I'm thinking I may get new hooks all the way around and I'm so excited. So yes, but this one is just light and I can tell I'm gonna love this because I don't, that's why I like the resin and the plastic hooks because <coughs> they're lighter and like I said, they're longer. So yeah, but this one is lovely and I cannot wait to use it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna I know exactly what I can use this for. Haha, <laughs> I already have a project that I'm working on. Alright, cool. Let's set that there carefully, carefully, carefully. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, so. So yeah, so I think that they're both going to get together and make me some hooks. I'm very excited about that. So, um, that's what Squirrely Dan told me the other day. He's like, well, you're gonna have to miss some of your hooks for a while. I was like, well, that's okay. I was like, <laughs> Technically, your sister has them, so you guys can get together and you can borrow some and make some. But then again, I would like them longer, so I guess, I don't know, he'll figure it out. He's a smart kid, he can figure it out, just so anyway. All right, so. <clears throat> so there's that, my beautiful hook. So thank you to my mama, I appreciate it very, very much because it's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors, I'm so excited. To use that for sure. Once again, matches my shirt. I dig that. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I mentioned last week that um, on our like nine year anniversary, my hubby and I like, renewed our vows um, and had like a fun beach wedding just for fun. So <clears throat> last week we celebrated that anniversary. Um, we don't really go all out, but we just kind of make it like a fun little event, you know, just because. And so we went to a town that is 40-ish minutes away. Um, and I had been having a really rough few days there. Um, just a lot kind of happened all in a little bit of time. And so he was like, I want you to do me a favor. Like we're on our way to that town and he was like look up yarn stores and I was like okay and he's like I know there's a Walmart look up yarn stores there has to be something else and I'm like oh I would love to go to like a local yarn shop because never I've never been to a local local yarn shop and so he's like perfect do that look it up find it we'll go there so I was like thank you so I looked it up and in that town it said according to Google, <laughs> that there was a local yarn shop. And I'm like, check it out. It's like, you know, this far away, according to the map, you know what I mean? But anyway, it looks like it's right there in town. It's perfect. So we go. It's in this, I don't really describe Victorian, but just this older house with a corner facing porch. I have always loved a corner facing porch there's just something about it, like the stairs that go out to towards the corner and just the cuteness of the whole thing. And oh, and so it's just this adorable little place on this adorable little street and it's so cute. So I go in, I'm all excited. 
we go in and the guy's like, hello, how are you? You know, and we're like, oh, we're doing well, thank you. And it's just this, you know, older couple. They've had the store forever. Turns out we, my husband finds a friend everywhere we go. So, um, <laughs> anywho, <clears throat> I am the total opposite. I talk a lot on here. They're like in public. I'm just like, oh, um, on here, my husband's very quiet and he says a lot of uh -huh's and yes and mm -hmm, and all of that and then whenever we get out in public they said he's never met a stranger never one time so anyway totally opposite in real life just saying real life. but so yeah so we go inside and the guy's like you know what can i help you with what are you looking for and my husband's like yarn <laughs> he's like where's your yarn and he's like she needs to see the yarn and the guy's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, we stopped selling yarn like four years ago. <laughs> we're like, oh, okay. And anyways, he's like, yeah. And my husband's like, oh, okay. He's like, you know, we just saw on a line that you guys had yarn. And he was like, yeah. He's like, you know, that's the thing. Once someone puts something out there, you know, it's hard to take it off. And we're like, that's fine. So it's just this giant fabric store. I don't sew, but my mama does. And Mr. Finn does. And Miss B, they all like to sew. So it's like, okay, project bags were already in here. You know what I mean? It's rude to be like, oh, okay, well, see you then. <laughs> like, you know, so we're already in here. Let's look. <clears throat> so we're looking around and I'm thinking we're probably, you know, not going to purchase a thing, but it'll be fun just to look and I can bring the kids back, bring my mom back, let them check it out because they would love it in here. They have all of these vintage sewing machines all across the top of the towards the ceiling, you know, there's a shelf <clears throat> all around the room. Super, super cute in there. I mean, it's just, it's adorable in there. And they have a little room in the back where they have like craft, like quilting club and stuff. So we're walking around looking and I see this one fabric and I'm like, oh my goodness, it looks like Alice. Alice in Wonderland. In case you're new, she's kind of my jam. It's kind of my thing. So I would go down the rabbit hole. All right. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my goodness, this looks just like Alice. And so like I pull the bolt down and I'm showing my husband and he's just like, oh, it does. He's like, that's so cool. So, okay, let me show you that one. We've already discussed crinkles. Pre-warnings. Okay. All right. So there was this one. I'm like, oh my goodness, that looks just like her. That's so pretty. I love that. I need that. And he's like, you do. So I'm like, I'll ask. Finn or you know whomever would like to if they want to make me a project bag <laughs> he's like there you go so this is what it looks like and um let's see I'll tell you in just a second who it's by I guess that'll make sense so then I looked to the right and to the left of this bolt right here and discovered about oh I don't know five to six on either side of this one, bolts of Alice in Wonderland fabric. And so I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's why it looks like Alice because it is Alice. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so this is the, oh, Free Spirit Presents Curiouser and Curiouser by uh, Tallulah Pink. And she told the lady at the fabric store was like, do you watch her videos? And I was like, no. <laughs> I watch crochet videos, to be quite honest. Um, and some knitting. Shout out Granny D. All right, so anyway, but yeah, I was like, you know, she crochets too, but anyway. But yeah, I was like, no, I, you know, watch, well, and Jen, see lots of people knit. My yarny folks, I was like, no, I, I delve in the yarn community is basically what it was. Not really the fabric spot, you know. And she's like, well, you should check her out. She has beautiful stuff. And I was like, well, I would love to. I'm definitely going to now. So then, of course, my husband's like, well, have you heard it? You know, like, she has a... Or not have you heard of, by any means. But he's like, she has a channel, too. He's like, you know, and tells her. He's like, you know, stitching ain't easy. You should check it out. And anyways, she's like, okay. <laughs> so I don't know. I just thought it was cute that she was like, hey, we you watched your videos? And my husband was like, hey, it's my chance. So anyway. All right. So yeah, The Curiouser and Curiouser by Tallulah Pink. And it just says Alice. So that's what it is. And I love how they did the little color swatches. So cute. So this is the first one that I got. 
And then, like I said, on either side of these, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I get it. So all the rest of the things. So this one has Alice and her cat, just in case you can see that. Super cute. So. <clears throat> This one, so cool. See which way is up? Although it's Alice, so it doesn't really matter which way is up. Who's to say? You know. All right. There's this one that I love. <laughs> is that not cool? So it's Alice falling down the rabbit hole. The trees and things, and all the little goodies. Okay. <clears throat> they had so many, it was very, very difficult to decide, but at the same time, it was like, okay, do I really need any of these, much less whatever, but then, you know, yeah, I did, okay, so it happened. Mm -hmm. And then, I got this one. Let's see. Is it not so cool? <laughs> and they had one that had flamingos all over it. Whenever we go back there, I may have to go get, because I just got a half a yard of each one. <clears throat> To be quite honest, whenever we went in there, their fabric was comparable or less than I've seen it at Joanne. I'm just going to say that. They are doing quite alright for themselves for what it was. I figured it was going to be really pricey, but it really wasn't that. They, it's pretty alright in there. So anyway, is this the same thing? This one is Sea of Tears. So I can tell you what the other one is too. Huh? But... Um, so cool. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see, what's the other one called? So yeah, there were several though that were just like, they're so cool. The flamingos, that one was really neat. I don't know why I didn't get it. I, mean, I thought about it a few times. Uh, maybe I don't know what this one is. Yes, I do. This one is Stop it. Down the rabbit hole. Come on now. <laughs> How cool is that? that? Makes sense. That's what I probably would have called it too. That's perfect. Down the rabbit hole. Alright. We do that a lot here. If you're new, perhaps you haven't been down the rabbit hole with this, but it's a fun time. Alright. So I got those. That's our Alice. I didn't fold the purple one back correctly. <laughs> so, not at all. Aren't they cool? So I feel like just a project bag with just a solid color on the inside and I don't know. It's so cool. All right, so I was all excited about those. And then I found <coughs> this one, which I thought was awesome. Um, this is by, let's see, um, Robert Kaufman. It just says robertkaufman.com. Just a bunch of books. Has Aesop's Fables, The Land of Lost Toys, Snow White, Rumpelstiltskin, The Snow Queen, Cinderella, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> Peter Pan, always a classic. So, anyway, I thought that was absolutely beautiful and would make a very, very cool project bag. All the books, because we like to read around here. Let's see. 
Yeah, there are a lot of really cool. And this is so neat. So I think that's why I didn't get the flamingos because I decided on this one, I'm pretty sure. But the Lost Princess of Oz. <coughs> so and Alice in Wonderland. I really liked that that um both Alice and Peter Pan are on here because those are my hubby and I's favorites. But yeah, I just thought that was really pretty. So project bag out of this one. Um, and then last but certainly not least, I got this, which is just DMC Cotton Pearl. Um, and I thought originally it's color fast made in France. I don't know anything else about it. Um, but anyway, what color or anything? Um, I thought about making a doily at one point just because I've never made a doily. It's a really pretty color and it's going to go very well in my kitchen. So that was the original idea. And then the more I thought about it, it was like, but how fun would it be to stitch that together with something kind of variegated and funky? It doesn't have to be single. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Perhaps a doily still, but I just thought it was really pretty, all those blues. So, anywho, but yeah. So that's what I got. <laughs> and check it out, it matches this even. How fun is that? I mean, it's kismet. Come on now. Absolute kismet. Yes. Okay. So, um,. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to make a doily or if I'm just going to give that to one of them to use as thread. I do not know. The future awaits us. We'll know at some point. But yeah, I got these for project bags. I'm excited. I just got a happy yard piece. So this one's a little bit over a happy yard. <laughs> but otherwise, just enough. And then just get some fat quarters and do a solid color, probably a fun lime green or something, a hot pink or something real cool on the inside, probably black on this one, and just have some really fun project bags for, I don't know, whatever, you know, who knows what they'll be for. So, all right. <laughs> so that's what I got. So I cannot wait, and I already showed the ones in the house that sew and they are ready <laughs> to go check that store out um for sure so we need to do that very soon um so yes and i can't wait to go back because it was just a cute little store and a fun little time and that corner facing porch though so good so yeah but one of these days one of these days alice not the same alice but anyway <laughs> one of these days alice <laughs> I'm going to find a local yarn shop and I'm going to go. It's gonna happen. But I feel like I probably will be bought all, well actually I know. I bought all four of those for less than probably a skein of yarn at a local yarn shop depending on what I would have purchased. So that's good. I went in with the intention of if I find yarn, one, maybe two skeins. <laughs> that's all that I can get. So I did pretty all right. So. <clears throat> all right so um i thank you guys so very much for watching my super cool hook and my fabric and my goodies my local fabric store i suppose <laughs> um it was adorable so i can't wait to go back it was so fun just a, i don't know fun little trip so fun little drive and then something cool to do so we had a good time but yeah Right. So I thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you guys soon.